What is up everyone and welcome back. Today we're checking out the band The Oblivion and the track Helios. It is a two-man project. It is the former vocalist and the and one of the former guitarists from the band Sightcore and it is their new project. This request comes from my buddy Mick who has been following the channel since back when I think there were like 30 subscribers way back in November of last year. And I've been a big fan of the Sightcore stuff. I've liked what I've had a chance to hear. I certainly do need to get their back catalog at some point. And figure we should check these guys out. It's melodic death metal. Always like my melodic death metal. So let's get into it, shall we? The band is the Oblivion. The track is Helios, and here we go. Like the electronics, I'm always a fan when bands use that stuff. Those textures. I like that electronic synth work in the background. I really think it's a great touch. Really like the riffs. Vocalist reminds me a bit more of a metalcore voice as opposed to a death metal voice, but I like that. Definitely has more of a metalcore feel. Got a bit of that Architects thing going on. Really like what I'm getting here. I like that bass tone. I like being able to hear it coherently in that mix. I like the vocal layering. I like how intense it is. Good delivery. I like the shift of that higher register and that part of his aggressive voice. Get Phil there. I really like this guy's voice. He's got a good range, good depth to what he's capable of. I like this semi clean quite a bit. I like those really subtle guitar accents there. Nice familiar chugs there. There's your blast beat. Really strong. There's your melodic death metal influence. Nice strong tremolo picking there. Right under that double bass. Correction. It wasn't a blast. It was more of a double bass pattern. I really like those accent textures.
That was really, really, really good. I like the back half of the track more. I think the intensity when it picks up into that double bass pattern, you get a bit more of that mellow death feeling going on. The intensity really ratchets up. And that's when it really kicks in. It's good to start out, but it ends on an absolutely fantastic note. That last minute or two is glorious. And it's just highly enjoyable stuff. It's well played. Really like the vocalist. I like what he, I like his range. I like the different voices that he's able to bring to the table. There's different tools. Really like his semi clean or that semi aggressive range that he uses a bit. Now, there certainly is a familiarity to it, and I think it makes that track really easy to get into. And I like that. You're starting to hear that sound more by many bands out there, but they do add a bit more aggression, especially towards the end of the track. And overall, it was a great listen, highly enjoyable listen. It's nice to be able to hear stuff like this. It's nice to be able to get back in my comfort zone a little bit. And great track, great track. I hope to hear more from them. Though, checking out their Facebook page brought me to a dead end. So I hope they're still together, but we'll see. Mick, thank you, my friend. Highly enjoyable. And then again, being the guitarist and former guitar player and former vocalist from Cypcore, it's not surprising. If you're a fan of Cypcore, you're going to be a fan of these guys. It just is what it is. Thank you, guys. I love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Thank you to my law enforcement, military veterans, and first responders, which you guys do every single day. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. I will see you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Keep headbanging.